What's going on, everybody? My name is Lidar, and welcome to LOL Just Playing. Now, if you've been keeping up with gaming the last couple of weeks, you would know that Star Wars Battlefront 2 is blowing up pretty hard right now. This wave has piqued my interest and finally made me want to play the game for the first time. I know that it might be surprising that I never played it, but back when it launched, the game was getting blasted for being pay to win, and that totally turned me off. Now, little did I know, because of the backlash, they actually removed a lot of those elements before launch. But for me personally, the damage had already been done. Now, fast forward to today, and the game's been getting a massive wave of new players. And yet again, my interest had returned. But there's just one small problem. Cheaters. See, the original version of this game has been plagued with cheaters for years now. Aim boss, wall hacks, people flying across the map like a Jedi on Red Bull. It's honestly wild. And nothing kills the hype faster for me than getting wiped by some dude who's clearly never left his mom's basement. We got a life out here, you feel me? But well, thankfully, there's a fix, a real one. And it's called Kyber. Kyber is a custom server launcher that lets you play Battlefront 2 on community hosted servers. No EA matchmaking, no cheaters, and way more control. You get bigger lobbies, custom game modes, and even mod support. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to set it up so that you can enjoy Battlefront 2 the way that it should be. No pay to win, no cheaters, just pure Star Wars chaos the way we all imagined it as children. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to their website, um, kyber.gg, and then you're gonna click on the Discord because you're gonna to wanna to join their Discord. And you will, if you're already logged into Discord, you will see the invite. So you're gonna to wanna to accept it. And there you go, you are now in their Discord. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to agree to the, all the rules, hit finish, and you are now in their Discord server. Uh, might as well plug mine. Join if you feel the need to stay updated on all of my channels. I'm gonna be doing some pretty cool stuff, but that's beside the point. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to click on the play button and you're gonna to wanna to hit join the beta play test. Here you have an opportunity to join a Discord, but we just did that. And you're gonna to want to type in your EA username, which is the upper one, not the bottom. Um, that is the one you wanna use. And then you want to input your Discord ID number. And you find that by going to your personal profile and clicking on Fubal Bio, hit more and copy user ID. Then you're gonna to wanna to select your operating system. I use Windows and hit submit. However, if you don't feel like waiting because sometimes um, it could take them a while to reach back out to you and it also can take a month or two even to get into the play test for free, you could optionally, which I suggest you do this, you just go donate um, to their server. And it doesn't matter which tier you choose, they're all going to give you the same access to the beta test. It just depends on how much you wanna support them. So if I had to do it a little earlier, I think it ended today. Um, it was like two bucks off, that's 350, but now it's five, but it doesn't really matter. It's just $2. So you want to click on join and you wanna join. And you just input your payment information, but First, I suggest you, if you don't have a Patreon, you create one, and if you do, you log in, and then you come back to the screen and input your information and then hit subscribe. So we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna log in. I'm going to log in with my Google account. And then I'm in. And this is the screen for members. So you will go to settings and then you're going to hit 
uh, more and you're going to click connected apps and you're going to connect your discord through here however i am a creator so i am going to go to settings and then i am going to go to apps and discord then i'm going to click connect here Uh, once you've done that and you've connected your Discord, you will get access to the beta playtest and the Patreon VIP channels, and you're going to want to go to um, playtest downloads. And here you will find the download link to continue to the download, and then it will start downloading your um, installer. After that, you're going to want to extract all of the files. And then you're going to want to uh, run the uh, Kyber launcher. If you get this, you just hit run anyways. Continue to click next. Uh, you can call it, create a desktop shortcut if you want one. Hit install. And then you can launch your fiber launcher. Uh, yes, hello. Um, once you're on this page, you're going to want to sign in. And you're going to sign in with your EA account. Um, after that, you're going to want to authorize your Patreon. And then you're going to click add to whitelist. Next, you're going to want to sign into Nexus mods. And you're going to want to sign in. Uh, I have to actually create an account because I don't have one for my YouTube channel yet. So let's do that. And I'll see you back here. After you've authorized your Nexus mod account, you will then select which mods you want to um, add. I'm going to uh, just finish though. I can do that later. And you are in and you can officially start playing Battlefront on the different servers that they have. All right, looks like that wraps everything up. All the steps are here start to finish. As for what's next, yeah, things are still a little clunky on the dev side. It's in playtest right now, but once the full Kyber release rolls out, it's going to open up a lot more potential for this game. Uh, they don't really have a solid timeline yet, but the goal seems to be sometime before the end of 2025. Could happen sooner. We'll see how things progress. Honestly, the way this is shaping up, it feels like we're inching towards that Battlefront 3 that we could have had, or at least a polished 2.5 version I would say either way it's been interesting watching how it evolves everything you need including links and info on Kairos full release is down in the description thanks for tuning in I'll see you guys next time whoa whoa oh my god get in get in get in. oh whoa Right, got him, got him. Oh, no, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Gotcha. about to blow up. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I gotta back up, I gotta back up. Oh. I'm going in. Ah! <laughs> oh, I don't even care.
Oh, that was too cool. <laughs> 